Hello everyone, welcome to About Town. I'm Susan Stevens. Thanks so much for joining us as we continue to review some of our favorite stories from the past year in part two of our Best of About Town special. We'll look back at stories about great festivals, special events, and even Taylor Swift fans. We're kicking things off with a celebration of Irving's many cultures. Fusion returned for a second year with more music, food, and fun. Kathy Whiteman takes us there. When your hometown is one of the most diverse in the country, it's a cause for celebration. This showcase of music and entertainment, food and fun is the community event called Fusion, and it represents the many cultures that call Irving home. It's awesome. It's, it's amazing. I've seen so many different acts so far. I loved what I'm seeing. First thing is uh, music, and then I see all these food trucks, and then uh, everybody's coming out here. So I think that's a joyful event. So. The day kicked off with a tropical steel drum band, and that was just the beginning. A full day of performances um, with everything from hula dancers to drummers to all kinds of fun stuff. And a vendor fair and street market showcase services and handcrafted gifts and treats. There's all kinds of cool stuff to buy. Um, there's different foods and um, we have a lot of candles and body care and um, handbags and clothes. And if that's not enough, in a special section of the festival, there were crafts and treats created and sold by kids. The name of my business is Axolotl's Treasury. We have lemonade, watermelon juice, and tea. I sell cookies and things like that. We make all kinds of different things that I would say people who buy them would treasure. We are IMP. These young business owners sold their products under the umbrella of the Children's Entrepreneur Market, a nonprofit that promotes real world commerce by kids. I just thought it's a way to spread the word about my business, so I was just like, why not? It's really meant to be an opportunity for the kids to create their own business and really run it themselves. They sign up on our website to come to the market, and we have some training videos on our website that really walk them through all the steps on how to come up with an idea, um, how to market their business, how to price their products, all the different steps, all the different baby steps, so that when they come, they are ready to have their own little business. Can you tell me about the bracelets? Uh, we make that, them at home. You do? How old are you? Six. Wow. How did you learn how to make bracelets? Uh, Nephew taught us. Parents aren't allowed to help with anything other than transportation. It's a chance to watch their budding entrepreneurs shine. We didn't know what to expect, but yeah, they they're talking to people. Um, you know, they're doing everything to you know sell drinks, their little bracelets. Um, they enjoy it. And the same could be said for anyone enjoying the music, food, and magic of many cultures at Fusion. Fusion is a great event that highlights the diversity of Irving. This past year, we had a special event that highlighted a unique connection to a prominent Irving freeway and a horror film icon. Filmmaker John Carpenter stopped by Alamo Draft House Las Cleanas for an evening that horror fans will never forget. Alamo Draft House Las Cleanas is now dedicated to the legendary filmmaker John Carpenter. And as I understand it, he's pretty excited about it. John Carpenter was there in person for the ribbon cutting. At this special celebration. Show me Let me out of here. Can you tell us what it feels like to get this dedication here today? It's sensational. It's fabulous. I love it. I love the crowd. I love the fans. It's awesome here. Given its proximity to John W. Carpenter Freeway, Alamo Drafthouse Las Cleanas has always honored the iconic director. We spent a lot of time curating posters and all types of good stuff. Every poster in the hallway is a John Carpenter movie or a Mondo variation of a John Carpenter movie. And then our big nine sheets that we have are actually movies that inspire John Carpenter. The creators behind this theme are fans of Carpenter themselves. NBA. <laughs> I've been a fan forever. I mean, Halloween terrified me at a fifth grade sleepover and then I was hooked. Which is why they are even more thrilled to have John Carpenter present for this ceremony 
and Q&A with the community that Alamo is so grateful to be a part of. Irving just puts a big old hug on us, you know. We, we love Irving, Irving takes care of us, and we love everything we're seeing across the way here. We've got nothing but new moviegoers coming in every day, so we're, we're big fans of what's going on in Irving. And this is another exciting addition to the city. It's not quite a horror film, but it does shed light on horrifying tragedies in history. Oppenheimer broke box office records with its release this past summer. Now it has several Best Picture nominations among many other categories, still making it a must-see movie. In the 1940s, J. Robert Oppenheimer and a team of brilliant scientists traveled into the unknown to create the ultimate weapon of mass destruction, the atomic bomb, but with the good intention that it would be used to end the war. Of course, when using a weapon with that kind of explosive power, there's risk and moral dilemmas, which brings into play Oppenheimer's infamous quote, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, haunting words that travel with audiences throughout the entire film. The movie stars Cillian Murphy, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., and the list goes on. Nolan has brought in a large cast of well-known actors to show just how many important figures Oppenheimer encountered throughout his turbulent career. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? As I mentioned, Nolan's recent films have been about going big and caring more about the visuals and sound versus his script. This time around, he stays more focused with his subject matter. As we follow Oppenheimer, we get to really know the scientist, both intellectually and emotionally. He has his flaws as a husband, but seems to truly want to help mankind with the making of this bomb. And when it is used successfully, the internal struggle that comes after is relatable, heartbreaking, and terrifying. This conflicting thought stays with you long after the film is over. The film's three-hour runtime may be daunting, but the fast-paced editing prevents the drama from dragging. Warning. There's not a whole lot of breathing room between each scene, so you'll want to be alert for the quick storytelling. The visuals aren't necessarily Nolan's most memorable, but they are powerful, along with the unique use of score and the disheartening war sound effects. Oppenheimer is a poignant and engaging character study revolving around a true story that all audiences must see. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves and the world is not prepared. Another must-see was Big Tech's boots at the State Fair of Texas. This year, the footwear was designed by one of our own Irving residents. The State Fair of Texas is back. Big Tex. And this year, the big guy has a new pair of boots that trail back to Irving. The contest was to design a boot for Big Tex to wear during the State Fair. Irving local Jessica Bonilla won the 2023 Big Tex Boot Design Contest presented by Lucchese Bootmaker with her Texas wildlife inspired theme. The Texas sunset, the different state animals like the armadillo, the roadrunner, things like that. Jessica's design stood out among a over 300 entries. It's a very fulfilling feeling to know that a lot of people like my art and that it was good enough <laughs> to even be on the booth. Her passion for art and creativity flourished while attending school at North Hills Preparatory in Irving. My elective was art, so I like I have all my art teachers who I believe still teach there and you know like I'm Facebook friends with them so whenever like I posted about winning it just felt really like it made me feel like full circle, you know, to have like my art teachers congratulate me about art that I'm even doing outside of school. Now thousands of people from all over will be snapping pics with her artwork for the next three years. It's an accomplishment. I think it's really, it's really nice to be able to like represent your city. You know, it can be like a little fun fact, a fun fact about Irving. Irving's home. It's. I like, you know, all my childhood friends, I grew up there. It's just like a lot of nostalgic memories for me. And now a little piece of Irving stands at the heart of the State Fair of Texas. The State Fair is also known for some amazing sweets, 
but we have many great treats right here in Irving, including the new Holy Rolly Pastry Shop, which features a variety of freshly made cinnamon rolls. And once you try one flavor, it'll be hard not to come back for more. There's a new gourmet cinnamon roll bakery right here in Irving. We specialize in cinnamon rolls in a variety of flavors. Uh, there's different flavors of cinnamon roll in the swirl. So say our strawberry has a cinnamon and strawberry swirl with fresh strawberries with a strawberry buttercream. Our cream and cookies, which is our Oreo flavor, has an Oreo filling with Oreo cream in the buttercream with crushed Oreos on top. So we have an assortment of flavors of cinnamon rolls available here. The idea of this shop came to Kimberly after she and her daughter stumbled upon a store that sold Rice Krispie treats in different flavors. That evening, Kimberly thought the same concept could work with cinnamon rolls. I got up, got a pen and paper, and just wrote down the whole business plan that night. Um, that was probably 2000, late 2018. Uh, life was busy, it was a great idea, but just never had time to do it. And then the pandemic hit. And we had time to actually start working on recipes, start doing farmer's markets, and the rest is history. Holy Rolly was finally able to open their shop for the community in April. We actually live in Irving as well, so it was kind of like, well, this is where we started. We got our first support, and it's our community, so why wouldn't we open our first brick and mortar in Las Colinas? Though there are a variety of cinnamon roll flavors to choose from, the most popular of the bunch is their traditional roll. I believe people want to try it out, see how it tastes, um, and then they start to experiment with some of the other flavors. Which aren't limited to just cinnamon rolls. So we do rolls, but we also do cake rolls, and I am looking forward to showing you our red velvet cake roll today. Ooh, fancy. I know. Uh -huh. A little bit of powdered sugar, razzle dazzle there and then we'll put a label on it and then it goes out in the fridge. Holy Rolly Pastry Shop offers several sweet treats for individuals and large parties. If they go to our catering tab on our website, they can see all the flavors we have available. We have over 20. In store, we only have six, just to kind of monitor uh, traffic. In addition to those six in store, they include a monthly rotating flavor, giving customers even more of a reason to keep coming back. For our, our May theme, we did a Tiroli one. And so we want to make sure that people know that you're not just getting different toppings, but you're getting a different taste in cinnamon roll from the swirl to the toppings to the icing. Just a great experience. I'm not sure if anything was more talked about than Taylor Swift this past year. From her internet breaking ticket sales for her Eras tour to drawing attention at NFL games, she was at the top of everyone's mind. So it was no surprise that Taylor Swift fans from Irving were thrilled to watch her historic concert on the big screen in their hometown. Welcome to the Eras tour. Taylor Swift, the Eras tour wowed audiences with an incredible journey through Swift's 10 different musical eras, featuring 44 songs. But not all her fans were able to see that show. I got waitlisted, but it's okay. Luckily, Taylor knows the feeling of heartbreak all too well and has given fans a second chance to see her concert in theaters. We're just excited to see her. We weren't able to go to like see her in the concert, so we're gonna see the movie. We weren't able to get tickets to the actual concert, so being able to go here with all of our friends too is just a dream come true. I've just been waiting for so long for this. The Alamo Drafthouse Cinema at the Toyota Music Factory is one of the local theaters hosting the special event screenings. We're here with all our friends, so like that is the most exciting part for me. Yeah. And I don't know, getting to share that with Taylor Swift, kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> Super close to like where we go to school, so it was great that like the Alamo, downtown, I don't know, it's great. I've been to like various restaurants and stuff around here so many times and seen so many people going to concerts on the weekends and like dressed up in their outfits or whatever they've got going on and it feels so fun that we're getting to do that even though it is for like a movie type of day. I feel like it's kind of just going to be like girls night karaoke but to like a different level. <laughs> to enhance the experience, Alamo is offering a tailor-made cocktail menu with drinks inspired by her hit songs and some Eras Tour Alamo merchandise which includes the shirt that I'm wearing, uh, a disco ball cup, French shirt bracelets, of course, and some heart-shaped glasses. And there's no denying the current Taylor Swift effect. I mean, just seeing what, you know, her effect on showing up to a football game has done uh, for jersey sales is pretty amazing. Like, I read an article about the economic effect of Taylor Swift, so. Yeah, literally. she's, <laughs> I mean, she's boosting our economy, that's for sure. <laughs> 
The Taylor Swift Eras Tour earned nearly $97 million during its opening weekend, making it the highest grossing domestic concert film ever, proving her profitable effect supported by these Irving Swifties. Just being a teenage girl, you can relate to her music a lot. But it's cool that like we can be united to play like a love, and she's still like playing is still amazing now, so that's great. Is there a song you're most excited to, to see in the show? Is Are You Ready For It? Because that's like a very, it's a banger. <laughs> Everyone excited, like on their feet, yeah, so that's something I'm most excited yeah. to see. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be called the Eros Tour. See you there. Looking for fun activities to do around town? Levi Gomez, our man about town, has some great suggestions. Hi everyone, Levi here. Le Freak is a disco band performing at the Ray Lee Underground. The venue is now open here at the Toyota Music Factory. It's an immersed dining experience that allows you to enjoy trend-setting menus while listening to live music. Don't miss out January 27th at 7 p.m. Jumpstart Stories and Art is back with the February theme, V is for Valentine. It's free and kids can create a take-home art project. Come participate February 1st at 10 a.m. here at the Irving Arts Center. Take your Valentine out early for this month's first Friday date night. Enjoy one of the many restaurants in the Heritage District and see what specials they have to offer. Bring your sweetheart February 2nd at 5 p.m. It's time for the first Saturday free guided tour at the Irving Arts Center. Learn about what's on display, including Matthew Cordell's neighborhood and more. Check it out February 3rd at 2 p.m. It's time for poses in the plaza. Start your day off with a style of yoga that's energetic. The relaxing form of exercise synchronizes breath with movements. It happens February 3rd at 9 a.m. here at Texas Lottery Plaza. Jazz at the Lincoln Center celebrates the Great American Songbook. It'll celebrate popular jazz artists including Dean Martin, Ella Fitzgerald, and Bing Crosby. It'll be an unforgettable evening of singing and swinging. The show happens February 9th at 7.30 p.m. here at Carpenter Hall. For more events about town, visit irvingartcenter.com and the events calendar at irvingtexas.com. And that wraps up the final episode of About Town. This show has been near and dear to my heart ever since I started interning here in 2008. But when we return next month, our show will have a new name and a new look while still sharing all the wonderful arts, culture, and entertainment the city has to offer. So please, be sure to tune in next time for a feature on Metalworks artist Larry Whiteley and a special in-depth interview with Mayor Rick Stover and his wife Melanie. As always, we'd love to hear your feedback. Tell us about events going on around the community, people we should profile, or stories you'd like to see on the show. You can email us at ictn at cityofirving.org or connect with us on social media. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on X and Instagram. We'd love to hear from you. We'll leave you tonight with music from Fusion 2023. For About Town, I'm Susan Stevens. Have a great evening.